This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an RPNB brand California certified gun safe. It's the model RP1136. I bought this because it looked very similar to the stack on safe that I opened with a spoon in video 1048. And while they do look similar, the mechanism in this one uses plates that are about 50% beefier, so there will be no repeat of the spoon opening. However, the designers did make another significant mistake, and it's a common one. They failed to protect the internal button that allows you to program a new code or authorize a new RFID device. Let's open this up with the present code, which is 123. And you can see the internal button right here, and you can also see there is a gap in the lid overlap. This gap could not be in a worse spot. However, to their credit, they did recess this button and then cover it up with a little rubber plug. That plug, of course, is not going to stop us from getting in, but it may delay us for a couple of seconds. So let's lock this back up and get to work. Now, as has been my habit, I decided to use a household item to open this up. And today's object of choice is a binder clip. The first thing we're going to do is change the code from 123 to, let's say, 321. To do that, we need to push that little rubber stopper out of the way. And I think I've done that. Let's push the button. And the new code should be 321. In addition, if you have a low frequency RFID device, you can also use that button to program a new one. This one currently does not work. We're going to change that right now. Okay, folks, I think it is pretty clear that this is not a product that can be relied upon to stop a curious adolescent from accessing a firearm. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.